Hey, Tiny Tim. Have you seen Peggy? I've been looking for her everywhere. I can't find her. Peggy? Ernie, have you seen Peggy? You want some hay? <laughs> hey, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. You guys want to know something really funny is like I'm always blamed for like not doing my jobs right and messing things up and not following instructions and you know stuff like that but let me show you the text I got like how am I supposed to I don't what do I do I don't even know what to do can you please go to the feed store tomorrow and get at least three, maybe four bells of hay, put one bell of hay with a pig sleep, spread it out real good, and put the other three bells where they go to sleep. Like, what? What? I'm supposed to do what? I'm supposed to do what? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm going to do something because I'm not going to get in trouble, right? So I don't want to get in trouble. I've called Lester like eight times. He will not answer the phone. He answered once and he says, what? I'm trying to take a nap over here. Like, what do you need? I said, you know what, boss? Never mind. I'll just, I'll figure it out, okay? So I had to take my own truck to go get the hay because well i'm not allowed to drive the farm truck anymore because of the tailgate dent that i didn't do so i went and got the hay i'm gonna get it unloaded i'll try to figure out something i don't know it's gonna get cold tonight that's all i know these babies need a warm place to sleep this is where i'm gonna be coming out to put all the hay for the pigs well and ringo he likes to hang out in here too. But yeah, this is where the pigs stay. So they've got it wore down all the way down to the dirt. But it's gonna get cold tonight. They need that hay, keep them nice and warm. These are not like normal pigs, okay? These are Texas pigs. So they are acclimated to the hot temperatures. So it gets below like, I don't know, 50. And we're cold, okay? That's just how it is around here. We get cold below 50. Isn't that right, Ernie? Okay, Annie, I know. I might be a little bit dramatic, okay? I get it. Sheesh. Cornholio, what? You got something to say too, buddy? Huh? You having a good day? Don't do it. I know what you're going to do. And I'm ready. I'm ready for you this time, Cornholio. Thank you. You're a good boy. Cornholio's like, no one pets me without a peck on the foot. I will peck your foot. Do not spur me, Cornholio. You can peck my foot all you like, but you're not going to spur me. Got it? Thank you. Have a great day. If I, if I walk backwards in this moment right now, he's going to think that he has won. But also, I think if I go at him, he's going to think that I'm trying to fight him. And I'm not trying to fight him. So I don't know what to do in this situation. Ow! Cornholio, that was right on my upper thigh, and that's not a place for you to be pecking at. <laughs> you got it? Okay? Now you're being a pecker. That is for sure being a pecker, Cornholio. Don't be like that. You're not gonna you're not gonna treat me this Ow! Shoot, talkie, that one hurt. Corn Cornholio, you're gonna go in a stall. Quit jumping! <laughs>
Tilly and I have got all the hay over here. Before I put it in the barn, I'm just gonna sweep it out a little bit. It's not too bad, but you can see where the goats hang out. That is mainly on the sides of the barn. So we're gonna put the hay 99% on the sides of the barn. Okay, I want to show y'all something real quick. The wind is blowing that direction. Let's try that again. Get an accurate reading. <laughs> that is right on top of the other pile. It does not get any more accurate than that. Okay, so the wind's blowing across this direction for sure. So while I'm sweeping, what I'm trying to do is I grab everything, I bring it over to the middle. Hi, Tilly. You see I'm going to bring it all to the middle and then you can see everything kind of rolling that way already. So whenever I sweep it out, I'm going to push everything in this direction. And as I push, just like that, the wind is going to help me go ahead and carry most of this stuff out of here. So Mother Nature is actually on our side today. Well, she's not on our side, but you just got to learn how to work with her. let's get this party started here we're doing three bells in here that bell is for the pigs what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all the strings off I'm gonna put one bell over here well I'm sorry I'm gonna put one and a half bells over here and one and a half bells over here it can be even it can be good Brady is already excited he's coming to check it out Brady don't eat the hay this is for y'all to lay in doggone it Brady I probably should have shut the goats in that pasture while I had the chance, but Tilly ran over there and told them all. He's got hay over there. Leave the leftover grains for me. You guys go get the hay. All right, well, if y'all are gonna be here, y'all are gonna help. Got it? Oh, this should be fun. This should be a lot of fun today. Oh, boy. All right, any more? Any more? Okay. Thank you, Brady. I need it all the way over there, buddy. Thank you. I'll help. Brady. Why did you do that? Why did you tell them? Why did you tell them that we had hay? Look at what they're doing. Come look. Come look at what you started. Come on. Come look. You see that? I know. I'm in shock too. Like, what the heck? This is your fault, Tilly. Yeah, your fault. Let's see, you better... Go, get them to stop, Tilly. Tell them to move on now. Oh, no, you don't, Shirley. You're not drinking my Sonic drink. This is the only thing keeping me going today. I hadn't even had a Red Bull. Y'all would be proud. Alrighty, go.
thing at Ringo. All right, guys, watch out. Watch out, I'm gonna have to shut the door. Get in here. Get in here, Tilly. Or do you wanna go out there with old Nanny Goat? But the wind is just blowing all my hay up into that corner. And we should not be having that because then, like, what's the point of spreading it out if you're just gonna let it go everywhere, you know? Look out, Tilly. That's not where you wanna be. Bye, Tilly. See you later. Poor Tilly. All right, goats. Let's continue. All right, the goat barn is done here. It's full of hay on both sides. I ended up using just one on this side and one on this side because I started thinking, I was like, okay, so one for the pigs. And then Annie, Ernie, and Indy, you know, they're fluffy and all, and it doesn't get like that cold here, like majorly, majorly, majorly cold. Well, you know, it's only fair if they get a bell too, right? So I had to stretch this out as far as I could go. I mean, it's not super, super, super thick, but I mean, they're furry goats and hay gives off a ton of warmth. They're in the barn, protected from the wind. So Annie, Ernie, and Indy, they're gonna have a little bit more exposure. The pigs, you know, they're obviously blubbered up, ready for winter, like they're gonna be good to go especially with the hay, they're blocked off from the wind too. But any Ernie and Indy, although they are fluffy, they're more exposed than anybody. So I gotta save one bell for them, get it put out there for them so they can stay warm too. I'm rambling. Let's get started on work again. On second thought, I think I'll just stay in the barn for a little while. I'm not dealing with that today. Hey, you guys scoot over. I'm hiding in here with y'all. That's not cool. Get in here, Brady. It's not safe out there. Hello, Ernest. Hello, Indy. Where is your mother? Hello. You're so beautiful. Oh, Ernie, doggone it. Hey, pigs. Hey, babies. I'm about to be coming in here. I'm gonna fix this place up for you. And I gotta get out all of Newton's sticks. Sorry, Newton, I gotta get your sticks out of here. But you're gonna be so... You're gonna be so happy to find out. I'm bringing you a whole lot of hay that you get to make all kind of beds with. You're going to have the time of your life. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Um. Um. Probably shouldn't mention bacon around them. Hey, you two. What are y'all doing? What are you looking at? Hey, can you wake up, please? I'm ready to get started. Everybody, please exit the building. We're about to get started in here. Rudy, hold on. It's not time to get started yet. But I guess you can help me if you wanted to. Hold on, let me get the strings. Alright. Let's shake it, everybody. Let's shake it. Are y'all ready to shake it? Because we about to shake it. We're about to shake it around. Why did you bring all these sticks out of here? Newton, why did you bring all these sticks in here? These cannot be comfy for your beds. There you go. Good girl, Trudy. Oh my word. Hey, calm down. Spread it out, Trudy. Spread it out for me, Trudy. Come on. Give it a shake. Shake it, shake it. 
Newton, get to work. Get to work, Newton. This is your favorite hobby. I know it is. You can't even trick me. Hey, baby. Baby, why are you panicked? Baby, sweetie. Go that way. Go out the gate. Jump over them. There you go. Go out there. Good girl. Sheesh. Good job, Trudy. You're getting it, girl. Yeah, there you go. Good girl, Trudy. Good girl, Trudy. All right, I'll give it a shake. Give it a shake. Shake it, girl. Shake it. Hey, Tiny Tim. Have you seen Peggy? I've been looking for her everywhere. I can't find her. Peggy? Ernie, have you seen Peggy? You want some hay? <laughs> hey, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Wow, thank you. That was cool. But anyway, I gotta go find Peggy. Peggy. Oh, Peggy. Okay, so the problem I'm seeing with putting out hay for the alpacas is like, I want them to be warm, but where do I put it that has some sort of cover? Now, you're saying, well, Jake, there's a big old spot right here where you could put it or cover the concrete. Well, I don't want to do that because the second that I put down the hay, you know, I mean, it's there. And then whenever we come to change the water, which is going to be tomorrow, all of that hay is going to get wet, nasty, ruined. It's going to hold moisture and it's going to be freezing at night. So it's not going to be helpful at all. And then... Oh, watch. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. See? Why is that Ernie's fault? Why is that Ernie's fault? <laughs> but anyway, so, but if I put it out here, like where they sleep, just like in a pile or like in one of these little hole things, so they're kind of down out of the wind and then it rains, well, we have the same issue. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to clear out this old green hay. I'm going to have to go ahead and put it right here because it's covered. I don't want to put them on the concrete because I don't think that's the best, like most comfortable thing for them to sit on or lay on. Um, so I'm going to put it right here, clean all this stuff out. And then whenever I, and then whenever I change out the water, I'm just going to have to dump it all that direction. So it doesn't get all the hay wet and I'll have Ben behind me with a squeegee pushing the water oh i'm sorry did i separate you two i apologize well come here then come here all right see you later i'll get all this work done sheesh dude what the heck excuse me everybody i have got to get in here and clean up all the mess and I've got to shovel out well pitchfork out this hay and get your area ready for you to lay have a great day oh boy why have I began to rhyme all the time I don't know <laughs> to get them out of there before I pull up in here at the bucket they'll really start freaking out I think come on come on babies I'll give you some release 
I gave you some pressure. I'm giving you a release. I do not want to go all the way around, please. I do not want to go all the way around, guys. Please, come on. Go ahead. Run for your life. Run for your life, baby. Come on. Go ahead. No, I'm not messing with you. Okay, I saw the wink. Okay, that means come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Indy. Run for it. Run for it, Indy. Guys, seriously. I do not want to have to go all the way around. This is crazy talk. Okay, run it out. Run it out, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Run, baby. Just run. Just run. Just run. Good girls. Good job, everybody. All right. Let's get started. all right we got it done we got it done i took some squares of hay and i outlined them a little bed area in here and then i fluffed out the rest of the hay on top of it so now the alpacas have a nice bed the goats the pigs all this old stuff i gotta get rid of this stuff somehow there's some string that must have come off my hay excuse me ernie i gotta get this Everyone has a bed. I've made y'all's bed. Now go lay in it. Bye guys. Have a great day.